Before I started doing keto, I never used to cook, ever. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another food video, another dessert video, because that's what everybody likes to see. So I'm here today to make keto brownies. I'm gonna show you everything that you need for this recipe. I'm gonna show you how to make it. It should be a quick, simple, uh, easy video, short, so. Here we go, let's get right into the video. These are the ingredients that you need. So first thing you're gonna wanna do, preheat your oven. I got some of these little tins here. So I can put them in. I got the eight by eight kind. That's what the recipe calls for. And it says lined it with parchment paper. So I have that back there. I got my oven at 350 degrees. And now I'm going to butter and two ounces of chocolate. So I just got these because I couldn't find any of that Lily's chocolate that they recommended for this. So I'm gonna just use these. I didn't get 100% cacao because like I said, our chocolate is not my thing really but 72% should be enough, okay? Um, and just for everybody that knows, two ounces is one fourth of a cup. I had to look it up, I didn't know either. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds or so. So, I'm gonna show you. So once you're done with that, you're gonna get all your dry ingredients, get a big enough bowl so that you can put them all in, you're gonna whisk them all together. back in the microwave because a lot of the chocolate that I need is at the bottom. So I'm gonna heat it up, mix it up again, and I'm gonna pour it back in there. So just give me a second. Okay, so I'm starting it up again. Looks like it helped out, so we're gonna find out. to this mixture now. So I'll add a little, whisk it up. Repeat that until all your dry ingredients are in and your mixture should be thick. Butter around. That's how people do it usually, anyway, right? Real 
bakers. Is that what they do? So that's what I'm gonna do here. Just put butter around my whole thing. And we're gonna hope that I'm not messing myself up. Not really filling this whole thing up. So I'm trying to shake it to like even it out. So when you get it like this, that means it'll all cook evenly, it should rise evenly. So that's what I'm trying to do here. It looks a little bit crazy probably, but see? Now it's all stretched out to all four sides. So now I'm putting it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna check it. The little toothpick thing, <laughs> like a real baker. So let's go. While those are in the oven, I just wanted to come and tell you guys like, before I started doing keto, I never used to cook, ever. Like, if one of my friends was here now, they would come and they would tell you, like, I would never cook anything. No desserts for sure, no. But like, my extent of cooking was like salmon, regular stuff like chicken, spaghetti. Like that was my basic skills of cooking. So keto has helped me reach a new level in cooking because you would never see me in here baking the brownies. Let me tell you that, okay? So yeah, like just so nobody thinks I'm out here, been out here cooking, I have not. <laughs> I swear to you I have not. Probably the last, mm, Two months or so i've been making videos for like a little over a month now so a little bit before that okay and i just started making it because everybody keeps asking me oh like what are you doing what are you doing so that's why i started making this channel so it's just a little side note for y'all i want you guys to know that because everybody keeps like oh you're a chef like no no not me the brownies are out yay i'm super excited i think it looks really good considering and this is my first time making brownies um, especially from scratch, okay? I usually make it out the little package. But this, what it looks like. I have to do that little belly button in the middle <laughs> because I had to test it and see if it was um, jiggly or if it was done, and it's done. I think it looks really, really good, like super, super good, so. I'm gonna let this cool down and then we're gonna cut some, taste it. I'm gonna let you guys know what it tastes like. Taste test time. I'm gonna get an end piece. Cause that's how you can really tell if it's good. The ends taste good, see? And it didn't stick, just like I thought it wasn't. That's what it looks like, the consistency. Can you see it? Here we go. I, <laughs> I am pleasantly surprised at how good these taste. Like, no lie. Like I told you, dark chocolate is not my thing, but this right here, if I want a brownie, I love brownies, mind you. That's why I couldn't lose weight before. But this is really good, like, My friends say this, listen, they're gonna be like, you need to make these all the time because they're really good. Like, I wouldn't even lie to you. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even ate another piece. <laughs> okay. So good. Mm, mm, mm. I couldn't see what's getting on point. So, that's it for this video. It's over. Okay. I'm gonna make cheesecake. I'm gonna make brownies. Listen. I'm on my way. I'm about to open up my own restaurant. <laughs> Keto Bakery in two seconds. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below whatever uh, recipe you guys want to see next. I'm down for whatever you want to see. And uh, yeah, make sure you share this video with anybody that's trying to do Keto or anything like that. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.